Okay. Uh, good morning. Today I'm going to talk about human evolution. And the purpose of my speech is not to persuade people to believe in evolution. The purpose of my speech is to show you that if evolution did happen, it didn't happen like it's being taught in colleges and high schools today. So the first main problem with the, or the, the, the traditional theory states that humans evolved in the African savanna, that there was a large forest and certainly a trend, and then suddenly humans started venturing out into the grasslands and then they started using tools and that's why we started walking on two feet. But fossil data indicates that human evolution happened in three phases. First, we started walking on two feet, then, <clears throat> then we developed large brains, and lastly we started using tools. So why would an ape with a small brain start walking on two feet? It absolutely makes no sense. So I'm going to show you, my friend Matt's going to help me out today. <laughs> Speaking of, you know. So he's going to adopt the position of an ape. <laughs> so if, if, if people in the back can't see it, then, then you're going to, if you, you can stand up if you want to see it. So, so you're going to see this makes absolute sense. He is, uh, he is sharing all the weight in, in the four extremities. He's protected against predators. He's pretty stable. And it, it's a very, a very good posture. So now let's say the ape, I'm going to evolve, I'm going to walk on two feet. So you can stand up. So first of all, this takes years. I don't know, two or three years, but we're little to learn how to walk, or a couple of years. And your organs are exposed. It's only highly unstable. Like, so why would an ape choose, you know what, I'm going to walk on two feet. Why would it do that? It it's, makes absolutely no sense at all. And another challenge that if um, an evolution, and a, if you want to adapt, it's something that provides immediate advantage. Something like the cheetah that was faster and then became faster, the giraffe that had a longer neck. So if anyone here can picture out what would, what advantage could this bring us? This is, look all the way, if you have back pains, and, and the heart, all the circulation has to go back to the foot and then come way up. Well, as an ape, it is, it's so easy to circulate blood. And there are many disadvantages to this model. So another thing, thank you. Uh, another disadvantage, uh, it's uh, us humans, uh, we lost our hair. Why, why would we do that if, if the fur gives us, protects us from insects, from the sun? And we chose to do that, and, and it serves no immediate advantage. Another case, uh, we store fat. Why, why would we store fat? <laughs> most land mammals, um, the most efficient way to control your temperature on land is fur. You see all land mammals have fur. For all aquatic mammals, they have fat like, like we do. And that reminds me of a story. There was one time I had a girlfriend and <laughs> 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 you know, she, <laughs> but she, she went to med school. <laughs> and, and, and I managed to sneak in the med school, and I went with her, and she was studying dermatology. And when she made a cut on the body, and it's funny, the fat came attached to the skin, and not and any other land mammal, the the small layer of fat will stay with the tissue, but in humans, the fat it stays with the skin. And you know what other mammals are like that? Marine mammals, and other. I mean, and there's so many cases of how we are more similar that we are not similar to land mammals for some reason. Another <coughs> case is sex. We're the only land mammal that has face-to-face -face sex. <laughs> All our land mammals, they have a different approach. <laughs> and we're, the, <laughs> we're the only ones that, that do this. So again, why, why would we do it? So this brings us to the origin of the aquatic ape theory. The aquatic ape theory states that in the period of time, millions of years ago, like let's say this is Africa, and the, whole, the ocean once flooded this part. So then suddenly, apes found themselves in a flooded environment. Some were stranded in islands, some were in trees, and suddenly underneath there was just water. So they had to venture out in the water in order to survive. <coughs> and, and, and then it, it, it proves an advantage because once you're in water, that you, only, you can only walk <coughs> on two feet then hair doesn't become an advantage because I mean, it slows you down, it, it, it serves no purpose at all. And then in order to develop large brains, you need a diet rich in omega-3 fatty acids. They're very common in fish, so suddenly everything started making sense. So in conclusion, we may, have a, we may come from apes, but at the end we're more related to aquatic 
mammals, and that's why we have our unique feature that we stand on two feet and, and we lost our hair. Thank you very much. This puppy? Your theory doesn't quite address the fact that we have opposable thumbs. Why was that? That we have what part? Opposable thumbs. Basically, our thumbs are disjointed. Well, I won't say disjointed, but um, the hunter gatherer essentially theory uh -huh. uh, addresses that essentially. How does the. I think that, that happens later after. After the after we started walking on two feet, and that's like the process. We first started walking on two feet, then we developed our large brain, and then we started using tools. So at the, at that point, we were all the same. The theories are the same, only that the traditional one doesn't address how we came to that point. So at that point, we started using tools, and that's probably what you're saying, Pepe, that we started having the our unique features. Any other questions? So how do you explain the otter? <laughs> yes, it's a, it's, a, it's a valid point. Like some, you can choose, like some marine mammals can choose the, the fur covered with oil, but there's no land mammal that would choose hairlessness if it's not related to water, like hippopotamus, uh, pigs. The, there's an animal in South America, the taper, I don't know if you've ever seen it. It, it. They all have aquatic environments, but nobody chooses the other. In water, you can choose both, but on land, it makes no sense, like, to be hairless and store fat. So the otter chose to have hair? To have hair. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Diego. Thank you. <laughs>